Hello everyone, this is Jozef Not here and welcome back to the next part of the playlist where I give I show you how you can learn Linux command and become a Linux pro. Okay, and in this video I would like to show you how you can compress files and or directories. So you might already know in Windows, I don't know, WinZip or WinRAR or you just usually do a right click and then compress. So you don't really think about it, but you can do a lot more in the terminal in Linux. So let me show you this quickly. So I open up a terminal. By now you should know that you can also open it up with Control alt t And now if I go into Documents, uh, there I created a Compress folder and there I created a file, new uh, txt. So maybe I show you it. Compress and it is a big text file with a little bit less than 700 megabytes. You can take any kind of file that you are don't worry about losing. Just take something big if you want to follow along and um, create a copy and then try around with the copy of that. Okay, so I want to show you three possibilities to compress a big file into a smaller file. And also, <clears throat> this is also works for a directory. So not just for files. So I will use this file new.txt, but uh, you can replace that with a certain directory or other files or if you want. And certain files can be compressed well, other files cannot be compressed very well. Good, just to, to start off with that. So the standard compression in uh, Linux usually is the tar compression. As a Windows user, usually you don't know this uh, this compression type, but in Linux it is wisely, uh, widely used. Uh, so, and the command to compress, for example, this file new.txt is um, tar, then spaced, C for compress, Z and then verbos and force and then the name of the file of the tar file. So for example, tar file dot tar dot gz and then file new. So what does this mean? So we want to compress with tar this file at, at, the, at the end. And as I mentioned, you can also uh, input here a folder. And then everything which is inside the folder will be compressed into one tar.gz file. And this is the name of the tar.gz file. You can also just use tgz if you want. And then this is the important part because you want to compress with C and you want to use zip to do it. Okay, so now if I press enter, and maybe let's take a look at this also in the Explorer while it is compressing. So you see it is being created, but it has not finished yet. It takes a little bit because it is a big file. So let's wait for it to finish for the compression. And so currently we are at 30. Ah, and now it finished. And as you see, this star gz file has a, uh, the original file had a little bit less than 700 megabytes. And this has a little bit more than 200 megabytes. So this is okay. And this is usually what a lot of people do in Linux. Of course, you can also use other commands and if you Google or watch YouTube, a lot of people advise you to use bzip2, which is a very special format. And I will, before I do that, I will copy a, f a file and a file new two. And now, once I have now two files, I will execute bzip2 and then just type in file, file new2.txt and enter because what this does 
let's wait for it to work it is a bigger file and then let's take a look at how big what what's going to happen here plus <clears throat> how big the file is going to be because if you check out youtube and also google a lot of people uh, say that you should use bzip2 uh, file because this does the best job in compressing a file so this is what i heard and i tried it and we all i show you also uh, the here uh, this possibility here and as you see here this now removed the file new 2txt <clears throat> and it created a bz2 file with the size of 121 megabytes so this is a considerable decrease in file size with, by, with compressing my personal favorite is 7zip and to do that to execute 7zip is uh, just by typing it 7z and uh, before I call maybe I open up here this if you don't have this installed then just type in sudo apt install and then p7zip minus full enter and then type in your um, password and enter and then it, this will install this 7-zip command okay so this is what I wanted to show you at this point and now how to compress with 7-z and this is my personal favorite it is 7-z space a and then the <coughs> zip file the name of the zip file because this is going to zip it and then file new for example dot txt so with a we add the file to the zip for uh, a file okay and now this also shows you uh, the percentage how far we are and if you insert now a folder with a lot of files in that folder then you will see <coughs> the file names just rushing by on your screen in some versions and in other versions it will just uh, uh, give you the percentage and then the current na the name of the current file which is being pro processed so i really like 7zip and although people claim that bz2 is the best way to go as you see now with 7-zip we managed to compress the file from nearly 700 down to 107 megabytes so it is even smaller than with bz2 i'm sure that you can tweak around with different settings but usually these uh, this is what you get and i personally really like 7-zip and use it widely but in some cases bzip2 might be uh, might create an even smaller file size and the uh, standard tar gz is then uh, also possible for you now <laughs> don't rush away of course we now have to extract them also so now we have a, a bz2 file a tar gz file and a zip file how to extract them just let's uh, do this and with tar it's x we have so x for extraction instead of c which was for compression now it's x for uh, for extraction and now the file is being extracted <coughs> so yeah this is how you extract the file then with bzip2 you do this with minus d and then the file and the, the bz2 file so this is how you it's called decompression and then uh, in the next step i will show you how you would do this with 7z <clears throat> because that's also rather simple let's wait for bz2 to finish and it's also finished and with 7z you just type in x and then only the zip file and now it, uh, it also asks you because yes sure we have the file and we have the same file name and then um, let's type in yes 
and now it is being extracted and overwriting it. We could also skip it or just quit it. So I really like 7-zip for this feature because it really uh, thinks and asks you if you want to overwrite a file and, <clears throat> and also it uh, shows you the percentage, how far it is. But this is up to you. Uh, let me know in the comment section be below which you, which version do you prefer and uh, for which you want to go. <clears throat> And what uh, maybe you already have experience in extracting and you have some additional comments to that. Okay, so I, I hope that you liked this compression video and that you learned something. I would like to thank you for watching and listening and I hope to see you next time.